everybody, it's Claire here and I'm in my kitchen and this afternoon I am going to show you how you can make your own Play-Doh. It's one of our home learning ideas for this week so I'm just going to show you how you can do it. Now your children should be really familiar with this because it's something we do every day in nursery so I'm sure they can do this. Um, so what you're going to need, your ingredients, you're going to need some plain flour, some salt, some regular cooking oil, and some water and that's it those are your ingredients and the things that you'll need to make your dough you're going to need one cup one tablespoon and a bowl to do your mixing in I've also got some food coloring here that you might like to add if you're feeling adventurous or you could use some essence I've got some vanilla essence here so they give it a really nice scent if that's what you'd like so to make your dough you're going to need one cup of salt and two cups of flour and you're going to need two tablespoons of cooking oil and about one cup of water you might want to judge uh, how much whether you need to add some more or uh, if it's too sticky you can add some flour but we'll get we'll give it a go so first of all i'm going to add my one cup of salt I'm going to pour my salt in so that's one cup of salt, then we're going to need two cups of flour. Here's my first cup. It's nice and full. Pour my flour in, and then I need one more cup of flour. I'm going to fill it all the way to the top. I'm going to measure all of the ingredients out. There. And that's our second cup of flour. The next job is to add our oil. I'm going to make a little hole in the middle of our flour and salt. And that's where I'm going to pour my oil. So you can count with me. We're going to have one spoon of oil. In it goes. And two spoons of oil. Right, now the next job, I'm going to measure out one cup of water. There we go. It's full to the top. I'm going to pull that in slowly, not all at once. Pour a little bit in. And I'm going to give it a mix. That's it. And then I'm going to add some more. It's about half of my water has gone in now to my mixture. And can you see it's changing now? It was all floury and powdery. But now it's getting quite gooey and sticky and it's getting a bit harder to mix now. I might have to use my hands in a minute. So I'm going to pour the last of the water in. That's my cup empty now, no more water. So starting to look a bit like this, a bit like cake mixture, isn't it? So mix it in. It's looking a bit sticky to me, so I think I'm going to just add a little sprinkle of flour. So it's not sticky. There we go, and then I'm going to mix that in, and we're nearly done. It's so quick and easy to make your own dough. You can get a bit expensive buying Play-Doh at home. So with just some few basic covered ingredients, you can make your own dough. So there we go, I think we're pretty much done now. So what I'll do, just to get it really nice and smooth, a bit of flour on the surface. Now your children are absolute experts making dough aren't you guys they know how to do this we do this every day in nursery we can do a bit of kneading with our fists really good for making hands nice and strong at nursery we like to add leaves and blossom maybe some twigs or pebbles you might have some buttons around the house to add to your dough and i bet in your kitchen you've got lots of things that we use in nursery as well you might have a rolling pin potato masher really good for making nice patterns in your dough. Um, the children always love using a garlic press and enjoy watching all the little wiggly worms come out of the garlic press. If you've got some cookie cutters at home, that's fab. Cupcake cases for making cupcakes. The possibilities are endless with dough. So have fun, give it a go. And if you, you make your dough, do take some photos and send them to your key people because we just love seeing what you guys do at home. Bye, see you soon.